Hey guys, it's Landon from RH, and this is the third video in the <clears throat> set of videos that I'm doing that shows you how to create planimetric line work and some annotations, some labels for this site plan. So I went ahead and, and started working on this area where I thought I was going to need a detail. You can see I started to trace out the buildings. Then I realized this is actually a separate parcel, so they, they came in and carved out this little one acre parcel here. I just put the approximate boundary on the zero layer, these white lines. So I don't think I'm going to need uh, anything in here, because it's not part of our subject parcel. Uh, but just in case, what I wanted to do, so I goofed that up basically. What I wanted to do is make a new layer, we're just going to call it not needed. Like Elena's gonna, Elena and Nikki are gonna laugh at me for that. So we'll call it not needed because I don't want to delete it. We may end up having to show it. The planner may ask us to show it. So we're just gonna grab these buildings and throw them on that layer. Now this building's pretty close, and sometimes the planners, if you get a building this close, this one's close too. They'll ask you. Uh, we, so we may end up we may end up labeling this and I noticed when they created this parcel so this already exists that they basically cut off the access to these buildings so right now these are owned by the same family and so it's not a big deal uh, they they can get in and out of this driveway but um, yeah that's an issue now what we're doing isn't related to anything down here but it it may be um, that we need to I'll, I'll talk to my client at some point they're they're probably going to need an access easement here uh, to get in to get in to get in over here <clears throat> so I may not need a detail there now the other thing that is a little bit tricky is the water line and the the septic uh, for this house or, or over on this parcel and I don't understand why none of that got addressed when they when they created this home site but it just didn't so let's go ahead and put those in. I just have them on one utility layer for now. Uh, so this is going to be the water. And I, I actually went out and and walked this with the landowner. So that's going to be our water line. And then the septic comes out the back here and goes over. Basically goes over and ties into a, a sewer system over here. So I'm not sure how much grief I'm going to get over that. Um, we're we're doing stuff up here. I, I don't know if the, the I don't know if the planner is going to make me go in and address those issues. But I'll talk to the landowner about. He needs to create a, a septic easement and a water easement and a uh, an access easement here. And I, I can't do that on the parcel map because this isn't going to be isn't is, this isn't the site plan is is to do a subdivision, but this isn't going to be a part of the subdivision. If this driveway was over on the other side, you know, then I could maybe create an easement on the subdivision map, but it just isn't going to work. So we're going to have some extra easement work here, I think, no matter what we do. But anyways, I don't think I'm going to need a detail yet. We may end up needing a detail before we get through here, but I don't think I'm going to need it yet because I think I can label everything at a, at, a, at, at the overall scale. And so we'll show you that in a minute when we do the annotations. Uh, I decided I'm not going to draw anything from for these solar panels. I'll just I'll just label these. Uh, and so I think this is basically it. This is a, a house and a, a little shop. So that's all we have for the buildings. Now I do want to show you. I like to hatch the buildings. So I just we'll do that with an offset. I'm at 200 scale, so I'm going to do a two foot offset. Fillet that real quick. I should have made those poly lines, and I wouldn't have to do this. We'll do the same thing here. We just like to throw a little bit of a, a little bit of a hatch on our buildings. So then we can just run the hatch command. And we'll pick a point, and we'll add our hatch. We'll put it at uh, so far. I think 100's been good. We do it at a 100 scale. Yeah, that's way too low. Let's try uh, 20 scale. 
That looks too low too. Let's do 10 scale. And then we'll do the same thing here. And then we can just match properties on that hatch. Oh man, I'm gonna I'm gonna crash my CAD. Forget how slow it runs with the screen recording software. Then I come in and delete these inside lines. So we just get a little, a little hatch around the edges of the buildings there. Let's see, do we have these? Let's get these on the right layer. So that's GIS hatch buildings. Okay, so we've got our buildings done. I think that's about it for the line work on this, guys. So what I want to do next is just some labeling. We got we got five or so minutes. We can do some labeling. Um, and so what I want to do is we're just going to do some M leaders. And we'll go ahead and draw in. So we're going to call just call this shop. Now that's obviously doesn't look right, so we got to set this up here. So the scale is supposed to be 200. And let's see, let's get that. I may not have a text layer set up. Let's pull this out a little bit. I don't like it to cross lines here, but I may not have a choice at this scale. And that layer, that arrow looks way too big. No, nope, that's the right size arrow. It's just the scale. Let's see if we have a text layer. I don't think I do. Yeah, we don't we don't have a text layer. So we're gonna go ahead and make a text layer. So let's make a new new layer. We're gonna call it GIS text. We're just gonna call it GIS text. And then our text layers are usually kind of an ugly brown. Let's uh we'll go with that bright yellow. I, I need to clean up these layer colors. So we'll make that our make that our layer here. And we do not want we want that to be a continuous line type. Not hidden. Alright, so we've got that. And we can say we're going to copy this down and say single family residence. Whoop. Residence, can I spell? Okay, then we got the solar over here. We're going to just drag a label for the solar. Because this image is faded, I don't think we'll have to mask these. We'll see how it looks on the plot. Let's just say solar panels. Now one thing I just realized looking at this is, um, I don't know where this power goes, but if it goes to anywhere inside this little home site parcel here, we're, we're going to need some other easements there, so I'm going to have to talk to the owner about that. So we've got those solar panels. Remember the roads are the road labels are going to come in on the on the anno. I think this creek has a name. I'm going to show you how to check that here in a minute. Um, now, as a rule of thumb, I don't label lines that are going to be in the legend. So the fire break and the airstrip will be in the legend. So I'm probably not going to probably not going to label those. Check this line type scale. So I probably won't won't label those. Um, man, this just looks really big. My my ladies told me it was one to two hundred, but it just looks oh overall scale. Yeah, these just look really big. We'll see. I'm gonna leave it that way for now. <laughs> okay, so before we we check the creek, I, uh, the name of the creek, I wanted to show you guys just how I kind of do an area label. So I'm gonna run some M text. And we're just going to create a blob of mtext there, and I'm going to say rice fields. I'll say OK. Now, my area labels, I always do middle center, or almost always. And then uh, the scale, let's see, text height. 
we want we want it to be 20 20 units that's 10 percent of the of the 200 scale now what I like to do here is I like to just do some some little little leaders little arrows that indicate this is covering an area okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to draw a rectangle that about fits that and then we're going to copy this to the middle of the rectangle <clears throat> all right and then I think what I want Uh, let's see. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. Let's try 0 0.9. Let's scale it down a little more. That's probably good there. And then I'm going to um, I'm going to copy this. You guys will see what I'm doing here. Oh, you know what? We can just offset it. Let's offset it. 30. And what I what I have now is four points that I can use for leaders. So we're just going to run the leader command, and I'm going to draw. Oop, we don't want any annotation on there. So we're going to draw these leaders. Oop. See, let's do in for none. Okay, let's go ahead and fix these up and, and then we can just copy them. So, our scale is going to be 200. Our arrow size is going to be a tenth. So, you can see this one obviously didn't work out right. This one did though. So, then I, I can uh, whoop, I can copy this leader. And then we can just move the endpoints the the butt ends of these leaders because we want things to be nice and symmetrical because we're anal you know, retentive cad users right okay then I can actually delete these so then we have a that's a nice area label and then what I'll do is we'll, we'll center this uh, you know that's a that's a nice I like that label there uh, we'll copy everything here and we're gonna just move it over here and then uh, over here, we can say what lens. And then we'll uh, do uh, probably two more. I'm going to just copy one here. Actually, let's do three. We'll do like this. And we're just going to say grazing. I should have copied that after I edited the text. My CAD skills are getting rusty. Okay, so the only thing I think I would like to add now is the name of the creek. You remember this is going to get busier because we're going to have uh, we're going to have some proposed boundaries and some existing boundaries with distance labels and road names. This is going to get a little busier, so I don't want to I don't want to go super crazy. Let's go ahead and get the creek name on if we can. Now where I like to go to get the creek name is I like to just go to the US national map and we'll see if the creek name is on there. Oh, I do not want the topo builder. I just want the map viewer. Okay, then we're gonna cruise over to our parcel and we'll see if that creek has a name on the national map viewer. Oh, let me try and get oriented here. We're right in here somewhere. I th is it Raccoon? I don't think it's Raccoon Creek. Oh, let's see. Striplin turns into Moore. Okay, so here's my creek. Whoop. Words. Here's Striplin. Here's my creek. I don't see a creek name. Oh, Markham. That's Markham Ravine is what they call that. I don't know why they call it a ravine because it's not very much of a ravine, but that's what they call it. So Markham Ravine. So what I'm going to do, because I just like to be a rebel here, is I'm going to say 
because uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're surveyor, you get to name stuff. So we're going to call this Markham, Markham Creek South Fork. And then I, I can't remember if I spelled that right. There might be an H in there. Yeah, there's an H. So we're going to declare that the South Fork of Markham Creek. Didn't know that surveyors had that power, did you? Alright. I'm going to make that a couple lines of text there. And then we'll, uh, we'll do this up here. really love that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ditch this grazing label. I'm just not going to get everything to fit. That way I can move these down. So let's say North Fork. <laughs> and then we'll do one more. And then I think we'll be about wrapped up. So where these two come together, we're just going to call this Markham Creek. Okay, so we've got our, uh, let's get rid of this. So we, we don't want this. This was, We're going to get these lines with our boundary. And then we're going to freeze this layer that has that, uh, the, the, the stuff we might need. Now, the other thing that would be good, it'd be good if we could label these. <sighs> the planning department's probably going to make me do a detail there. We'll make sure we do a, a little note that explains this, but I'm going to just put a leader here and say water and septic service lines <clears throat> and we'll see if this passes muster oh, what I'll try and do uh, my my survey techs Nikki and Elena are working on the uh, the other parts of this site plan that the boundary line work and the boundary animal drawing and I've got the contours ready to go. Uh, so I I'll make sure you guys get to take a look at this uh, before it's all done. Uh, maybe maybe not all the way on the title block, but but with all the with all the different drawing elements put together, I'll make sure that you guys get a chance to look at it. But there you go. So we've got a, on a high resolution ortho. We went in. Uh, we created some some basic line work that we needed. Um, on, on, we just digitized that or traced it on top of the high resolution orthophotography and then we did some labeling um, and we've got you know a good a good chunk of the of this the site plan here I think when we when we layer on the contours and the existing proposed boundary with those labels and the road labels I think this is this is gonna look nice we're gonna have a nice looking exhibit not thanks to me thanks to my thanks to my survey technicians Nikki and Elena so I'll try and do at least one more video guys where we go in and I Kind of show you how all these drawings look when we get them when we get them layered together.